Sir, welcome back to Forum Daily. Hey, it's my pleasure. Thanks so much for having me on. So can you take us back to why this wealth tax was proposed in the first place? Well, absolutely. You have these politicians in Ottawa who are musing about higher taxes and new taxes because, well, they're tripping over each other trying to figure out how they're going to pay for this massive $1 trillion federal government debt tab. And, you know, for us Canadians, I, I, I think we need to be honest with ourselves here. And it's going to be us average taxpayers who are going to get clobbered if these federal politicians don't figure out a way to save some money. So when we hear the Trudeau government announce more massive spending plans, we have to be asking, well, how are they going to pay for all this? because the government is broke. Now, the PBO report claims that the government could collect over $60 billion from this one-time tax, but the CTF says that this money would be utilized within a month. So can you tell us a little bit more on this? Well, first thing, when we hear the government's going to generate $60 billion in revenue, we have to remember that that means $60 billion less in taxpayers' pockets and less in the private sector economy. Um, but really, this is just silly political posturing. And what the government needs to do is focus on reducing the deficit spending. I mean, Trudeau's deficit spending is so big that he would burn through this cash in about a month. So who is going to be left picking up the tab for the other 11 months out of the year? Well, it's going to be average Canadians like me and you if these politicians don't save some money. So the CTF is saying that this uh, $60 billion would not cover the budget gap. So what is this budget gap and how much money do officials need to address it, sir? Yeah, just to underscore just how big this deficit spending is going to be, you know, even if the government puts in this wealth tax, I mean, over the next five years, uh, the budget gap would still be $270 billion, right? So look, these politicians, they owe us the truth on how they're going to pay for all this big time spending. And the truth is, is that, you know, it's going to be average Canadians who get hit hard with higher taxes if politicians don't actually tighten their own belts. And uh, you also mentioned in a recent release that uh, the wealth tax would actually hamper our economic recovery. So can you explain this as well, sir? Yeah, wealth taxes, they're, they're very bad policy, right? They're very complex, they're very costly, and they can lead to some very dire economic consequences. And really, that's the reason that you have a bunch of countries that have tried a wealth tax and then abandoned the wealth tax. And, and the best example there is from France, right? They had a wealth tax in. Well, their wealth tax and higher taxes chased away thousands of French residents and billions and billions of dollars in assets. And right now, we need to be focusing on economic recovery, the last thing that we should be hearing from our politicians is them musing about taking billions of dollars out of our economy. So what are some uh, realistic steps that officials can take to save money and fill this budget gap? Well, there's still a lot of fat on the federal budget, and I'll give you three ways they should rein in spending. The first is we have to see leadership at the top. That means MPs taking a pay cut. I mean, our members of parliament, they've pocketed two pay raises during COVID-19, which is a slap in the face to us taxpayers. We also need to see bureaucrats willing to be sharing in the tough times. You know, during COVID-19, we've seen thousands of job losses in the private sector, but we've actually seen thousands of job increases among government bureaucrats. And the third thing that we need to see, well, we need to see a taxpayer-friendly recovery. We don't need politicians and bureaucrats running around with our tax dollars trying to be in investment bankers and picking winners and losers. We say lower taxes, don't use our tax dollars for corporate welfare. All right, sir, just about uh, 45 seconds left. But if this debt cannot be met through these spending cuts, how will officials likely move forward to address it? Well, we need them to cut spending because if they don't cut spending, it's going to be average Canadians who get clobbered. And that's why when we hear new spending announcements, we have to be asking ourselves, we have to be asking politicians, how are you going to pay for it, right? If you add in provincial and federal government debt, the average Canadian owes $57,000 in government debt. And, you know, that's just going to be a hard hit to taxpayers if politicians don't save some money. All right, Mr. Terrazano, thank you again for joining us on Forum Daily today. Well, my pleasure. Thanks for having me on.